At the White Dog Cafe in University City, this month marks their 35th anniversary. What are some of the trends more recently that you think that you've adapted to to stay really relevant? Well, I think the most prominent uh, change, and it really hasn't been a change, is this whole farm-to-table movement. Sure. Founder Judy Wicks was a pioneer of farm-to-table years before it was common, and current owner Marty Grimms has kept that legacy going. When food comes from local purveyors, it doesn't travel as far, it's just healthier. Now he's building a legacy of his own with his daughter. You must be excited about her coming on board. Yes, uh, Sydney will be fourth generation in our business. The restaurant has 11 different dining rooms and every dog has its decor. It's nice to give people some different options sure. for the same place. I guess that's how somebody stays in business for 35 years, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere you look, the dog is in the details. Fido finials, Greyhound glasses, Beagle bookends. <laughs> the new year brings another new step, expansion into the brownstone next door. The expansion's really Really incredible. Tell me some of the highlights. We added a new bar. We added 70 seats between two different dining rooms. The upstairs has a wall length sofa. The solarium leads to downstairs greenery. And the new bar is also farm to table. We try to use as many local ingredients as possible, whether that's the fruit and vegetables or locally distilled liquors. The fetching food menu has a double cheddar burger with truffle parmesan fries, a spicy lamb bolognese, and their Kennett Square mushroom soup. How many different mushrooms in your soup? We tend to use about mm. five to six, cremini, shiitake. This is excellent. When the owner's ringtone is the sound of man's best friend. <laughs> and That's a bark a of the dog. <laughs> what do you know? It's a good bet. He'll continue the canine culinary commitment for another 35 years. <laughs>